Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've uh, done any video. Been busy, busy, busy the last week and a half or two weeks. Well, week and a half probably. Try and get the bus uh, ready, but um, you all, you all haven't seen that big of a break in the videos. But uh, it's been a while since I've done much. But anyways, today I wanted to show you my three-point grapple. Um, I know MJA doing stuff on his channel. Uh, he's discussed making one of these three-point grapples, and I thought I'd kind of show you a little bit about it. Um, it's been on the channel back last year, but nothing recent. I've got it hooked to the M6060 right now. Uh, when I built this, I built it to use on the farm track primarily is um is what I, I built it for and have, and used it on the most but i have used it on this tractor some it's pretty handy uh a few years back i was pulling a bunch of wood down at mike's he was doing some logging and i was getting firewood and uh i could uh, have my forks on the front to grapple on the back i could drag the wood out load it and everything all with one one tractor and uh, one setup and not have to get on and off the tractor hardly at all unless i need to saw something but i built this boom uh i had uh, our drafting class print me off a printout of the arch uh, out of a big piece of paper and that's how i traced it onto some 3 16 metal then i put a big heavy piece of uh, one inch steel welded between them here to hook the top link into because that's where a lot of your stress is going to be and then i just kind of formed all this back down in to a hitch uh, it's all hollow inside i believe all this structure is 3 16 as well um added uh, i had a place here for a shackle and ended up adding this little receiver on there to hook an electric winch to this metal that forms the bottom and the top it's just some some thin stuff i don't know what that would be uh 16 gauge or something maybe 14 but um all that all that does basically is just enclose the structure and might gives it looks maybe a little sideways uh strength if you're pulling sideways on it but i've got it braced all the way back inside with heavier steel but anyways back here on the grapple i built the grapple itself uh, and used it on a boom pole hanging from a chain uh originally and then ended up building this boom later but there's just a, a jack in here it's a three inch by i don't know if it's 12 or 14 i'd have to measure it and see uh i think it's a 14 inch stroke jack and it pushes this arm this control arm here pulls the other one and then they they bypass each other down here at the bottom to where it'll close all the way down which we'll show you a little later uh it's made on a swivel it'll swivel this way and it will swivel about 180 degrees um in each direction well a little over 180 in each direction but it won't do a full circle and that's designed that way so that i don't kink my hoses if anybody could come up with some kind of a swivel uh, for your hoses like an actual grapple skidder or grapple loader um that would be good but i was just trying to get by cheap i designed the swivel and everything up there and that's all proved out really good um I kind of I kind of designed it after a Wallenstein grapple a little bit, but it's I I had never seen a Wallenstein in person until I built this, and I went to the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville the the year I built it, and they had one there, and that thing is tiny compared to this one when you if you saw them if you want to see them side by side, it's got a lot shorter boom. I don't believe the grapples is big either um uh it, it's made more for skidding i made this one longer uh because i didn't have a loader to time that way i had to reach to load onto a trailer with 
and things and it'll actually raise higher on the farm track than it does on this Kubota because of the way the three-point hitch geometry is on it it will uh it'll lift the back end of the grapple higher and work pretty good for loading and everything on trailers so uh been a handy setup been a really it's probably one of the my f most favorite things i have ever uh designed and built i had no measurements to go by i, I just kind of want you know look at pictures of different grapples and stuff like for big loaders uh, just whatever until i found a design i liked and kind of tweaked it to where it would work i cut i used a, a big trash can uh to get the curve of the grapple arms um that's why i trace them out of and i've had to do some repairs to it over the years and things but overall it's it's done really well i would use bigger pins uh, it's got one inch pins in it right now i'd like to have had an inch and a half uh pins in it but because uh, i've had to replace them a few times because i broke them and bent them and things but We'll take it down here and pull us a log or two up and let's see how it does. The other day, when I did that video with the 245, pulling them big hickory logs up, using the boom pole and the log tongs, uh, and I said I should be using something else well this here's the setup I should have been using but I wanted to show you you can accomplish a whole lot with a little bit if you set your mind to doing it Yeah. 
keep your front end down. And if you need extra weight or extra traction, you can always fill your bucket up. Don't know that that's good on the center of the tractor. too crazy you could uh, break the thing in two but hopefully that wouldn't happen in the day before this Kubota that little farm track had that grapple on it and the front dozer blade uh, all winter long pretty much it was never never unhooked from either one of them from the time hay season stopped the front blade went on that three point grapple went on and that was run until springtime
see if we can get this blue dip jug out of the pond that's blue down here. gonna show you all this file real quick file bruni that watches my channel and comments a lot i hope i pronounced his last name right um he sent me this steel file the other day and this thing is absolutely awesome i'd always want to try one and just never had because the expense of buying them but i'm telling you what it's worth it it is worth it they got a the sun's probably shining on you all. Let's see if we can move around here. But they've got a uh, a flat file here, a round file here, and then these guides that controls your depth. Uh, one side is for one side of the chain, the other side's for the other side because of the way the files are positioned and the angle of this. But anyways, this file files the drags on your chain while that file's filing your tooth at the same time. And it works awesome. I thought I was pretty good at sharpening the chain by hand um, until I used this thing. And I'm telling you, it does a tremendous, tremendous job. So if you don't have one, I'd highly recommend getting one. Um, I'm kind of behind the times, I guess, because I think several people does have these. But uh, even if you're an old timer and good at sharpening chains, um, still buy you one it's worth it i mean they, they just help that much they do so good um i'd rather have that as a electric grinder or anything i've ever used but uh works on husqvarna chains too i use that's what i'm using it on husqvarna but this one's a 030.325 uh pitch which is what three eighths i think and that's what my chains are but i really appreciate him sending that pile thank you uh, you don't know how much that meant to me and how much use it's going to get. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. I ain't going to do it no more. It's too muddy. It's supposed to be dry this week. I got some wood to cut up and things that uh supposed to sell and deliver and thump. So we'll try to get some video of that. But um, old grapple works good. Works real good. If you have a chance to get one, make one or whatever. That is one attachment that I would highly recommend if you're into wood cutting. But uh, if you will, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you later.